Let's go fossil hunting to Samfire Ho. Sounds fun. Well, we've been to Dover so many times. We love holidaying over on the continent and we love going to the Brocons in France. We do. So every time we come back, Caroline tends to say to me, Sandfire Hose down there, see there's the sign. We'll have to go one day. Mm. Well, this film is because we did it. Yes, we turned off to Sandfire Ho. We were all ready to do the filming and I didn't realise just how windy it was. Mm. So all our footage just sounds like really bad blowing gales, doesn't it? Well, fair play. This was December. We just it come was. back from my holiday binge to the markets, didn't we? To the, we did. To the Christmas market. So the weather was fantastic for us to get mm. about. But the wind as it came in, the <laughs> tide was crashing in. There was a high tide. We mm. were... We were wasn't probably the best of choices no, to go down. but it wasn't. But we had a fun time. Why not? We had a fun time. So uh, we have prepared a little bit of footage for you, but there is no volume. So a little bit of music for the first bit, and then we'll talk you over the second bit. Sorry, it's, it's not live conversation, but all uh, the live conversation was unusable. It's going to come out fine. Yes. I know. You are the magician when it comes to the editing. <laughs> all credit, all blame to Caroline. Yes, I'm the editor. <laughs> right, let's go okay, over let's and have it. a let's look at what we got it. up to. Beach. This part of the beach does have some fossils, but the place we were heading was much further on, just around the corner. There's the cuttlefish that we found, just in the toe of Caroline's stripy wellies there. It's a shame we didn't have a budgie or we'd have taken the cuttlefish home. Yes. We don't need it. No, no, and we wanted to keep space in the bag for whatever we found. One of the things you will notice as you watch, I'm sure, the same as we find when we're there, is you have to focus, you have to really focus because there are just a million shells. Yes, and there's one there which yeah. was quite broken, but I'm not surprised. The waves and the tide were so strong, very few shells would survive. But this survived. Aha, uh -huh, yes, my piece of driftwood, which I have proudly bought home and intend to make into a statuette because I think it is absolutely awesome. It's really nice, it's unusual it. that it's hollowed out in the middle. Yeah, and what I did with that was I put it up on the top of the banking and came back for it. Oh, you like to eat. <laughs> there we go, stuck us some more bits of what we yeah. here. Now this, I'm not sure, I think it's a fossil. It's very hollow, it's very porous, so I don't know if there are fossils in it or it is a fossil. I will do some research. Yeah, as you can see there, there's the waves as Caroline spoke. They really were coming in. I got caught out more than once. They were the odd fossils you can see here. I don't think that's anything spectacular, but even so, we decided that we would bring it home just to do a little bit of research and see what it was. Yeah, it's very often you pick things up on the day, like a golf ball. Now, that is unusual to find, I think, on a beach, but um, it was there. And there was another lump. I like to think of this as my dinosaur egg. So, I don't think it's a dinosaur egg, but I can pretend. And of course we've got that nice lump of chalk. Now I'm going to break this up now we're home and see if there's anything hiding in it. Yeah, because the one thing you will find is chalk here because of course the white cliffs of Dover, a lot of chalk around. Yes, they're all chalk. Saying that, a lot of these pebbles are not. They're washing in from somewhere else, but they still have little small fossils on a lot of them, as uh -huh. you can see here. 
The thing is, this wasn't the sort of fossil I was really looking for. I wanted to find an ammonite. Now we got to the place where we had to turn the corner and there was this hut or house and you couldn't get through. So we had to get around the corner a different way. Meanwhile, Phil found something exciting. Hmm, well, I don't know about exciting, but it was strange because it was totally hollow. Yes. And not quite sure, it was, this wasn't a golf ball. But the only problem is we were cut off by the tide. We couldn't mm. get round to where we wanted to be. So that was a real pain. I was tempted to climb over the rocks, but you talked me out of it. It was a little bit dangerous, I think. And yet again, I was in my tidy shoes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's always in his tidy shoes. So we decided that if we couldn't get round any further, we'd have a little look. We found a few bits and pieces, but we had to more determinedly look at the other part of the beach. Otherwise, we were going to go home with a very poor quarry. Our plan this time, though, was to come just up from the, the edge of the water, which is where you usually search, looking for the renewed stuff, and to go along nearer where the vegetation was at the foot of the cliffs. We were coming towards the cliff edge now and looking in amongst the shells and the stones there. It's got something interesting there, not sure what that is. I, th I think it may be a devil's toenail, possibly, not sure. But then, rummaging in all this, hoping that something had fallen out of the cliff and just sort of tumbled down and was waiting for me to pick it up, as you can see, there was a lot of cliff. It was quite intimidating, very high, looks much higher, closer, and is a little unstable, so I didn't want to hang around by that cliff and very long. And fairly, you were very sensible because you didn't do too close. No. Unlike at the man in blue, yes, who was obviously very silly to be walking that close to a cliff, I know. carrying for protection no more than a carrier bag. But you did live to tell the tale. I did, and I did make a wonderful discovery. You did, but not as good as my discovery, because I found our first ammonite. Now, I know it isn't old, but it's still an ammonite, and a nice sized one. Definitely find of the day. We also found something a bit gory on the beach. Oh, we did. At first, it was f totally freaky. I didn't even want to look very closely at whatever <laughs> that was. It really no, freaked me it out. Was. It was. It, it, it looked like body parts. It did, in all honesty. Even I was sort of startled <laughs> for a moment. And as I say, because your eyes are so focused and you're staring at mm. pebble after pebble and you, you just suddenly you're always looking for that something unusual that catches <laughs> yes. your eye this and you unusual. suddenly you're staring and there's this what looks like somebody lost an arm out at it sea it really did look like something human for a minute i was thinking should i phone the police and then i thought no if you look at it the yeah. arm there's a shoulder blade far too close to the fingers the fingers are tarsals i suppose they call yeah. it metatarsals mm. so i looked up online when we got home to reassure myself, and it's either a seal or a walrus, I think it was. But it's, I think it's a seal. Yeah, Looking at the size, I think it's, it's a seal's foot. It's definitely a sea creature as it opposed is. to a human creature. So it wasn't a crime scene. No. But Fortunately. It, but it was certainly freaky. It does go to show you don't know what you're going to see washed up on a beach. No. And, and I suppose... You know, not wishing to sound too enthusiastic because I'm the one that Caroline drags along to these events. There is that element of not knowing. There is mm. that element of anything could happen. It That's was, the fun. I was so thrilled that Caroline found the Ammonite because that was an absolute crack and mm. it was just what she wanted to see. And it was there. And I'm so glad that we went in along the foot of the cliff because that's where we found it. As the mm. stones, as the cliffs are kind of crumbling. crumbling, then obviously some things are brought out. A lot of it is then washed by the sea. But that one was just there, nice and dry. It was. Nicely cleaned off. Perfect Beautiful. for me. Beautiful. So we wouldn't recommend anybody goes that close to the cliffs, but we would yeah. recommend a day out at Samfire Hove. They've got yeah. a lovely cafe. There are toilets, always important. Yeah, car parking is reasonable. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was it? reasonably priced. That I, could be the time of year. It may possibly, go up in the summer. Possibly, but it was it was very good. And check the tide times because we had to travel then. We were leaving and coming home, so it was our only opportunity. But yeah. check the tide times so that you can get around that corner. And I must say that that edited piece at the beginning of us strolling through that beautiful area and it was beautiful 
that is a 15 minute 20 minute walk yes. it's a it's a fair walk you know it's mm. on a good path they've laid a path because am i right that all of that area we we're walking on is made up land that came from the channel tunnel now There's, that's what i heard and it's a nature reserve it's definitely a link to the tunnel and we had our own personal ride through a tunnel because of course on leaving through the yeah, tunnel we had, we to, had go. to go through the tunnel so we leave you now take the ride with us back through the tunnel and we'll see you all next time but until then don't forget have fun bye, bye.